No. One left. No, no, no. He's here. Very pernickety at the line out the referee. And, uh, this one's got away all right. PC. A burst from the left wing by Ratavoy. Away. Polo. Lutui, the hooker. Now Ireland did stop the forward momentum. And they turned it over. Stringer. Into space. Onto it comes Horgan. Stood up beautifully for him. Shane Horgan. Horgan's away. What a wonderful try from Shane Horgan. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You always felt that was going to happen. And very well read by Stringer. He saw Horgan way out on the wing. He got the weight on it just right. And the bounce followed. Well done, Stringer. Really well judged kick. And there, Horgan, you can see... The defence realises it's going to hop up, and that couldn't have been better. After that, it's down to determination and sheer physical strength. Never mind a little bit of pace. And he enjoyed that, and did he deserve it? Wow, that was a terrific try. There was the one single element of good fortune when the ball stood up. But the kick was brilliant from Stringer, because it was born of an idea that was absolutely sound. And Horgan, once he'd got the ball in his hands, bang out of the first tackle, away from the second, and home. 42-12 with Wallace's eighth kick at goal to come. On its way. 44-12, 8 out of 8 for Paddy Wallace. And again, in relation to Wallace's kick, I mean, bear in mind that David Humphreys is the first up kicker for Ulster. I mean, not only is he playing out half where Wallace can't get a run, but he's also the goal kicker in the side. So it's a huge ordeal for Wallace today.